What is it like getting asked the same question over and over again? You make a website. That's what you do. That's the answer to that. You make, you make a website. Today, we've got a possible announcement that Deus Ex may be coming back. Oh my god. Crystal Dynamics and Eidos Montreal have been sold by Square Enix to the Embracer Group. Um, has anything actually officially been announced yet? No. Unfortunately. But uh, they did actually, as a selling point, have a slide about the Deus Ex franchise. And the Embracer Group has made some great titles after picking up THQ and other things as well. So does this mean the Deus Ex franchise is coming back for sure? No, not at all. In fact, nothing may be done at all. However, we know for a fact that Square Enix crushed the franchise. We know that for sure. We know that they tried to drive it into the ground with marketing shenanigans. It, it completely backfired. And instead of owning up to it and the fans, they said, okay, fine. Like a spoiled, petulant child, you don't get anything then. You don't want to participate in our crappy marketing schemes? You don't want to buy into it? Well, fine, then you don't get any more Deus Ex. That's what Square Enix did to that franchise. So now we have a company, the Embracer Group, that has bought the studios from Square Enix because hopefully they see that there is some value in what they have purchased. And my hope is that one of the things they see value in is the Deus Ex franchise. So what, what I'm saying is there's a chance. Where under Square Enix, let's be blunt, there was no chance. Square Enix has become quite the company over the last decade. Um, and uh, it, 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 it's the kind of thing where even if Square Enix did announce a Deus Ex, very similar to like Elder Scrolls 6, I would probably be more concerned than excited. Um, especially with how the last one worked out. However, Embracer Group, although of course not the holy grail of, of game developers or, or groups, I feel like there's a much better chance for something quality to come out of that. And also the fact that they're, they're actively purchasing these companies means that they're definitely planning on doing something with them. So, yeah, I'm, I'm actually really excited about the news and I hope that we're going to hear more from them as we move into this summer. Very, very cool. Also, just to uh, throw this out there, I don't know what Square Enix was thinking. I mean, Eidos Montreal just came off Guardians of the Galaxy, which was an incredible game. Um, Crystal Dynamics is working on Tomb Raider, which is a brand new game coming out. And like... They, they sell these two companies for 300 million when we're seeing like billions of dollars get thrown around. Like, like, are they desperate? Like, I don't, I don't, I don't, like, it's weird. Yeah, Guardians failed to meet Square Enix's huge sales expectations, but I mean, it was a super quality game and it, and it generated fans way outside of who would normally, I mean, it's just weird, man. It's weird. Um, I don't know, man. Sony doesn't want the Western stuff. Maybe. And, and a couple of the articles I read about it this morning did state pretty plainly that there had always been friction between the way that the companies were run and Square Enix, basically since they moved under that umbrella in the first place. So maybe maybe this was just the, the you know what? Maybe, maybe Guardians of the Galaxy met sales expectations, but they've been thinking about doing this for a while and were staging this sale as far back as when they announced that. Like maybe it's just the thing where they've been kind of like ready to get rid of these companies and they just jumped at an opportunity they saw come along. Um, but I got to say, man, I am, I am extremely excited to see what Embracer does with these companies. And, uh, and I very much hope that we, that we see these IPs get brought back. I mean, Legacy of Kane was brought up. Can you imagine a Legacy of Kane game coming back in like the 2020s? Like that would be, that would be crazy cool. A thief? Um, like my Lord, man, like this could be, this could be super cool. I did end up beating King Arthur off stream. 
I ended up beating the big fight we're on off stream. Um, however, I saved it and I said, okay, let me, we'll go back and we'll do it on stream too. Um, and basically the reason I, the reason I did that was because I was hanging around last night thinking about like, how in the hell am I going to beat that fight? Like how in the absolute hell am I going to beat that fight? Cause I tried it like what, five, six times yesterday. And every time I got absolutely smashed. And then I had this like epiphany where I was like, wait a second, can I do this? And then I did that just to see if it worked. And I beat it on the first try. So um, I saved it right after that. And I said, I will attempt to replicate that on stream. Um, however, what we'll do is we'll try it a few times. And then if it, if I like just get smashed a whole bunch of time, I'll assume that I got lucky the first time and we'll just load that save game and go from there. But I'll explain everything we're doing. I'll show you what I was doing. So, um, we'll, we'll do that. We'll do that offline streamer. Well, I'm already a half day streamer. So, you know, I might as well just move from half day streamer to offline streamer. I might as well start streaming offline. I think, I think that's fair. Final, final tiny bit of news. Sometime this week, I'm going to be taking either afternoon streams or cozy streams to do AMAs. Now, the reason I'm doing these AMAs is because I'm putting together a website that is basically just a giant list of questions on the left. And anytime you click one, it plays a video of me answering it. It's pretty cool. Why am I doing something like that? Because I get asked the same questions over and over and over and over again. And it would be really nice to have a website to go to where I could just say, go to this website, put your question in and see me answering it. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's why I'm doing it. It is, it is the actual answer to what are, what is it like getting asked the same question over and over again? You make a website. That's what you do. That's the answer to that. You make, you make a website. So I ended up trying something new and there's King Arthur's corpse on the ground. Now, as you can see, <laughs> it was not the easiest of fights. Um, you can see my boy Sir Kay here, not doing so hot. Um, this guy's pretty much torn, torn up too. Uh, however, I saved the game there and I said, in, you know, let's, let me, let me, you know, we'll, we'll try it on stream. I'm gonna see if it's gonna work on stream. Um, we'll, we'll, tr we'll see if I can do it again. If I can't, I'll just load that game and we'll keep going, but I'll basically show you what, what I'm dealing with here. So the TLDR with this fight is that this guy hits like an absolute truck and that if we try to go toe to toe with him, there is no way that we can, we can put up with it. We can't put up with it. So what I, what I did is I, I thought about like, what's the closest we can get to him without essentially doing anything. And that's about three blocks away because he's actually pretty slow. And Sinners shall bleed. I'll show you here what we did. He instantly got punctured lung. Okay, cool. A little less than optimal. I am here to serve. Table. 
Don't you think? So this, I don't think this run's gonna work. <laughs> Unfortunately. Still try them. Your Highness. Sinners shall bleed. Christ on the cross. Okay. So the only thing I did different that time than the first time is I killed um I killed some of the wraiths, but the problem was that's what killed Sir K. So I wonder if that's still the, the best idea. <laughs> he is Camelot. Okay, so K might be dead. Okay. Anyway. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, look, he's dead. Uh, so the TLDR is when I beat this guy. Um, basically, I did what I was doing. And King Arthur followed me down here after this guy. The thing about the, um, the attempt that I did here is that, for some reason, most of the people stuck on him the whole time. Um, and also when he summoned the enemies, he summoned them over here. So K was over here. All the enemies he summoned were like in a block around him and they all just focused him. Whereas you can see that time he summoned archers next to K and they just destroyed him. So yeah, that's where we are with that. So instead of throwing myself at that for another hour, let's keep going. Now I don't, I don't think I they see, see these the guys. So if we move them, like, it depends on who they're going to go after. But if they go after him, and that could really open us up here a little bit. Let's try this. Good. Okay. Oh, my God. Is this going to be one of our... No! Hold on. Your Maybe. Maybe. Okay, ready? Watch this. Watch this. Watch the damage. <laughs> 94 damage oh my jesus um that is obscene that is obscene i love it i serve the lord okay wow just wow i serve the lord Woo! Christ on the cross! Pray for forgiveness. <laughs> oh man. Oh god! Ronnie, that's a great, great point. Go to stop dying. Whoa, one shot, one opportunity. You die in one hit. Let's do it. This is the run. This is the run.
My goal is 5,000 gold. No, 50,000 gold. Nay, 500,000 gold. Nay is for horses. It does seem like a good deal. My, um, my tennis elbow acted up and it, it inadvertently as, as it does, uh, created a finger spasm. Yeah. We were almost, we were almost there. We almost got our goal. That title should keep the most prying eyes at bay. These are the personal journal entries of Esther Enoch. If you are not me, then your actions are considered a capital crime. If you are me, then please continue reading. It's been nearly 1,000 years since we were first sent down here to tend to the garden, but the tree is yet to bear fruit. Each year during the ceremony of return, my siblings and I congregate and open the garden gates in hopes of finding a bud, but every time we are met only with disappointment. According to historical documents, the tree should have borne fruit decades ago, yet it remains barren. I doubt our toll will be rewarded, but Esther Ira does not share my cynicism. He is loyal to a fault and will do anything for his king, even if it means damning us for eternity. Unless I can prove him, to him no fruit will ever grow, we should be stuck here for another thousand years. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, Lord. Oh, God! Oh, I dashed the wrong way. That was a good run, though. It was good. Yes, 6,700 gold. I'll take it. I fear this might have been a terrible idea. Uh, yep, mm-hmm, yep. Yep. Oh, can I bounce off them?
Okay. the other one. I don't even know if I've seen the area to get to that one. I was trying to avoid just We are toast, but that's okay. <laughs> okay. Acquire the fang of the bone hunter and bring the fang to Anastasia. Enter the necropolis. Oh my. So many things. So many things to do. Boop. We completely redid our build last night in a lot of ways after talking with chat over the best way to do things. So things are looking a lot better, especially single target DPS. Single target DPS is a lot better now. Oh, yes. Is this game awesome? Oh, yeah. This game is fantastic. Any ETA on the updated studio tour? Um, well, the, the next tour is going to be the whole basement. And um, I actually got word today that theoretically, <laughs> theoretically, uh, they're going to be here on Friday with the rest of the furniture. And then we can get that up and then I can get the shelves filled out. And we're also going to get the slat wall in the studio. I can start working on that too. So things are chugging along. Opium. I can't open that. Oh no. Are they sealing us in here? I oh, don't do that. Oh my god. That Going full offensive. Full offense, chat. Full offense. Ah! You good? That's a lot of corpses, man. Jesus. I mean, the boss. What? <laughs> Not fair. Wow. Okay. Okay, that's a lot of damage. Dang it! 
Yeah, that's what happens when you have no resists. Destroyed. Destroyed. We did our best, Cap. We did our best. Wasn't quite there. 